first lesson. Comfort. Give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service has ended, that her guilt is expiated, that she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice proclaims, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, every mountain and hill made low. The rugged land shall be a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, proclaim. I answer, what shall I proclaim? All flesh is grass and all their loyalty like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower wilts when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Yes, the people is as grass. The grass withers, the flower wilts, but the word of our God stands forever. The word of the Lord.
The prophet Jeremiah offers hope for a righteous branch, a just king who is yet to come. See, the days are coming, oracle of the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous branch for David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be safe. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name to be given him, the Lord our justice.
The third lesson. Exult greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. A just savior is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim, the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow will be banished, and he will proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion will be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. says the Lord of fourth lesson is from the book of the prophet Haggai. For thus says the Lord of hosts, in just a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations so that the treasures of all the nations will come in and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver and mine the gold, oracle of the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the glory of this house, the latter more than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, 
I will give you peace, oracle of the Lord of hosts. The fifth lesson, the prophet Isaiah announces the renewal both of the land and of God's people on the coming day of redemption. The wilderness and the parched land will exult. The Araba will rejoice and bloom. Like the crocus, it shall bloom abundantly and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord the splendor of our God. Strengthen hands that are feeble, make firm knees that are weak. Say to the fearful of heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God, he comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then the other name shall shall see, the ears of the deaf be opened. Then the lame shall leap like a stag, 
and the mute tongue sing for joy. For waters will burst forth in the wilderness and streams in the Araba. The sixth lesson, the angel Gabriel announces to the Virgin Mary that she will give birth to a ruler whose reign shall never end. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed Mary and Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, 
and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, Mary said, Born, will be called Holy, the Son of God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 